What's your vision of the 21st century? What are some of the things that you dream will become part of your everyday life in the next 10, 25, or 50 years? Maybe you just want an electric and autonomous car so you can ditch gasoline and start your workday during your commute. Or maybe you like the idea of going to work simply by putting on a virtual reality headset, hitting a button, and voila, you're in the office. I think we can all agree that completely sustainable food and energy sound pretty good. How about 3D printed personalized vitamins or even internal organs dialed in to work with your specific genome? My dream? To take a trip to a luxury space hotel that's orbiting the Earth like a satellite where I can see 16 sunrises in a single day all while hanging out, sipping my gin and tonic in zero gravity. All of these pie-in-the-sky hopes and dreams, these ridiculously prolific design challenges, can we really come up with practical, scalable solutions to them in just a few decades? I believe we can, and we will. The common thread that will enable our dreams is simple. Combining the finest what it's made of with the best how to make it. We need the right materials and the right processes. In short, by combining advanced materials technology with state-of-the-art process engineering, we can develop new designs that can change the world. This kind of approach, this new design paradigm, it's already here. It's called simply next-generation manufacturing or advanced manufacturing. But it is way cooler than it sounds. And now, there are three steps that I think are critical to understanding the power of next-gen manufacturing. First, we can design what we want to build from scratch. Next, we can make sure that our designs are going to work before we build them. Then, when we're ready, we can build only what we need when we need it. Together, these steps get us better solutions to harder problems faster. Before we dive in, I need to clarify something. The elephant in the room. Dark, gloomy, dirty, grimy machine shops are not next generation manufacturing. These places are not our manufacturing reality anymore. Instead of metal shavings and piles of scrapped parts, we need to think clean rooms and laser precision and about how lots of data moving at the speed of light is poised to transform the way we manufacture everything. Remember this old friend of ours from chemistry class? This is the first thing that taught us that materials have numbers. It turns out that the way scientists and engineers make a new material with elements from the periodic table is just like the way you make a new dinner with ingredients from your kitchen. Everything is made of something else, and little pieces must work together to create a whole. After you make a new recipe for dinner, you need to try it out or taste it. Maybe it needs more spice, less heat, or different amounts of each ingredient. After you make a new recipe for a material, trying it out usually means breaking and inspecting it to see how strong it is and why. Sometimes we take high-speed videos when we do the breaking, or we inspect the broken pieces with a high-resolution microscope. And we've been mixing and breaking and taking pictures for decades. At the same time, big data is everywhere now. And tools like machine learning that can help us to extract the hidden patterns in massive data sets are getting better every day. So, we can finally use our decades of data to tell us how to make the best recipes. For the first time in history, we're solving problems by designing not just the parts we use, but the materials that we use to make the parts. This is from scratch. This is how we get to lighter, stronger, and more flexible, and ultimately, to more cost-effective luxury space hotel vacations. One of the best ways to figure out what works is to figure out what doesn't work. Practice makes perfect, we learn from our mistakes, and we try to aim better next time. 
Have you seen the new model of your phone or car this year? Even if you wouldn't buy it right now, redesigns and upgrades are just part of our lives. You might say that it's just the nature of our things. And it is. We're evolving side by side, along with the product designs and designer products that we use every day. Speaking of product design, one of the first steps in any design process is to create a model of what you want. Sketches it first, but if you get serious, then it's time for a 3D computer model. And there are a lot of cool things you can do with 3D computer models. Let's consider just our ability to redesign existing models and to test our redesigns using simulations that mimic real life. If our simulations are lifelike enough, then we can be confident that our design will work great. What's more, though, is that we can optimize our designs in unique and beautiful ways by combining redesign and simulation. For example, check out this old chair. Classic design. Now check out this new chair. The new chair was designed to be as light as possible with the same strength as the old chair. The optimization process here used an evolutionary approach that started with the old chair and provided many possible light and strong redesigns. But some, like our winner here, were also beautiful with the look of having been inspired by nature. Through use of next-gen designer tools like these, we can make sure that our designs will work before we build them. And we can manufacture new realities from old ideas that have both form and function. So this brings us to the actual manufacturing step. It's time to build exactly what we need when we need it. This is where 3D printing comes in. 3D printing, known by many other names, is simply one way to process a material. That is, layer by layer. Even still, it's a complete game changer for manufacturers everywhere. And that's partly because it works more or less exactly like you'd expect. You make your 3D model, you click print, and your part, your assembly, even your finished product comes right out of the machine, just like a Word document. I cannot overstate how important 3D printing will be for this century. 3D printing is the ultimate digital manufacturing tool and solution to the materials and process problem. We are currently working on how to print everything from circuit boards to food, from sneakers to prosthetics to rocket nozzles and even organ tissue. In today's on-demand digital world, where Think, think 3D printers and raw materials. Not machine shop equipment and finished product. Think click print instead of send it to the shop. As always, we can go further. We can build sensors directly into our parts as we're printing them. And we can track how they perform over the course of a lifetime. We can use this type of information to further optimize our simulations before we redesign and manufacture again. Virtuous cycles abound in next-gen manufacturing. By, combining, by figuring out the right what it's made of and the right how to make it, our materials and processes can provide us with better solutions to harder problems faster. In this new design paradigm, where materials, simulation, and on-demand digital manufacturing are built right into our prototyping and production, we can build luxury space hotels that run on sustainable energy and that leverage functional yet artistic design inspired by nature. We can, quite literally, go from atoms to airplanes or anything else we can dream of. And we are working on this. Today, rocketeers around the world are pushing harder to go further than ever before. Next year, for example, NASA plans to launch the biggest rocket ever. And it will have 3D printed metal parts on it. Other companies are actively reusing rockets and working out business models that support tens of launches in a single day. Cost effective and profitable space travel is the goal.
We're going beyond 15 to 30-year projects like the International Space Station, a mere 250 miles away, beyond armies of satellites orbiting the Earth to give everyone more consistent, reliable internet access, and beyond even luxury space hotels. We want to explore and colonize Mars to become a planet-faring species. We want to set our sights on 50 to 100-year and 80 million-plus mile deep space missions and make plans to visit our closest neighboring star, Alpha Centauri. But if a single crack in our spaceship, when we're 50 years and millions of miles from home, begins to grow and threatens to destroy everything, then how do we get there? Easy. We load up our 3D printer and click print. Out comes our replacement part ready to install. While we aim at perfection, we must work smarter, not harder. We must optimize our designs from scratch and evolve with them while constantly learning from the data we generate. This is how, from pie-in-the-sky 21st century dreams, we can and we will manufacture our new reality.